In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we cruise out of Bimini for the two-day trek to New Providence Island. Fuel becomes an issue as we drive into the prevailing east winds. Anchoring overnight in the middle of nowhere is always a bit nerve-wracking, but very satisfying. A quick fuel stop in the Berry Islands and a stopover at Clifton Bay waiting for the wind leads to a great broad reach sail that takes us toward Allen's Key. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. So what are we doing today, Captain Dave? Motor in. We just left Bimini. Well, we're just we're leaving. We're leaving Bimini now. It's a little bit of a hazy, cloudy day. We left at 6.40? Yep, about 6.40 a.m. We're gonna try and make it to the reef off of Jump Key or all the way to Jump Key, it depends on the weather. It's supposed to be a nice day. That's the theory, it's not looking like it right now, but things change. Yeah. We do have um, some boats that are heading the same way with us. There's one there, there's one there. Is there any old front, Dave? Oh, there's one right beside us. Well, and they're going the other way. And we're heading towards some clouds. Dave found a workaround. Right now I've got the battery disconnected, which also shuts off all my gauges. So it's not a uh, stress-free feeling for me at all. We'll have to keep an eye on the batteries. So I don't know what the charger's doing or the alternator's doing, but uh, when we come off of high RPMs to low RPMs, um, like to anchor and to maneuver, the uh, low voltage alarm comes on and the battery drops to about nine volts. I'm not sure what's causing that. I've been researching it. I think it might be the rectifier diodes in the alternator, but we've got no way to repair that out here. So right now the workaround until I can find a solution. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put up the safety lines across here. I don't think I can open it up with one hand. I know, amateur. Wait, wait, wait. Mm. Oh, I opened it. Oh my gosh. Open that up. Safety wire number one. Open this up. Hopefully you can see me. Pop that in there. See? Done. Got the safety line. It up. Pop it down, and pop it down, and pop it in. So now, because the boat gets rocking like this quite a bit, and if for any reason you get caught off guard and it's the boat sends you sideways, you've got these to bounce off of instead of going overboard. And that's your safety tutorial for today. Endurance and I. <laughs> Uh, this boat Endurance and uh, Dark Angel are crossing in front of the cruise ship that's coming into port, which is right behind us here at, at Bimini. So yeah, we're trying to get the hell out of the way and we pumped, uh, we pushed up the engines just a tad bit more to get out of the way of the cruise ship coming in. All sorts of alarms happening right here, as you can see in the big red line, because, hey bitches, you're in the way. Carnival elation. Oh, there's that danger. We're off the Now we're clear. We're good to go. Thanks, Captain Dave. Now we're going by Mackie Shoal. 
It's How do you know? Because there's a post in the middle of nowhere. There's the post at Mackie Shoal. That means we're about, uh, I don't know, two thirds of the way from Bimini to the tongue of the ocean for the Northwest Passage. So we round this marker and then we head further south to here. There we go, Northwest Channel. Which is uh, 32 miles to that channel. Then we've got an option when we get there. We can either come over to the side over here and anchor in the middle of nowhere, or we can go through the channel and carry on for at least another hour or two to get to Chub Key. And it's better protected at Chub Key, and we do need to go in there for fuel tomorrow, but uh, another couple of hours after dark is not a good time. So we're gonna play it by ear. Lisa is enjoying the new executive seating provided by Matt and Liz. Thank you. Officially the most popular seat in the house now. It really is. Yeah. It's very comfortable. Once again, we are in the middle of nowhere. We've got the anchor down in about 12 feet of water, which is crystal clear water. Middle of nowhere, woo! And there is our view of absolutely nothing. There's a boat out there in the channel. That's how far we are off the channel. I hope it's far enough that we don't get smucked in the night. I'll put lights on. And, uh, Woo! Now apparently there's a boat a couple miles away on anchor as well. So we've got 90 feet of chain out, I hope we don't hit them. So it's about uh, 6.20 at night and uh, We're on anchor. it's probably another 20 miles to get to Chub Key to anchor there and I really don't want to do another four hours into the dark and then go into Chub Key in the dark. So we're going to stay right here. And I think I'm far enough out that we can just zip right over to the channel and make our way. And we've got to get some fuel at Chub Key in the morning because we've got a headwind the whole way to uh, New Providence Island. So it's a big detour and a pain in the keister, but it, you got to do what you got to do, you know? Anyway, supper time. So what are we doing today, Captain Dave? Uh, we've raised our anchor in the middle of absolutely nowhere and we're heading to Chub Key to get some fuel so we can beat our way down to Clifton Bay, Providence. We'll wait for a weather window to get to the evening. What time do we get up? Uh, I got up a quarter to six to turn the generator on for a bit. And the sun is just coming up now. Hopefully we get some good sun today. There are other boats on the horizon already out. Sailing away just like we are. There's that beautiful blue color. I can never get enough of. The sun is trying to come up. In these early mornings, everything is damp. It's a good thing this has anti skid on it. So when I go up front to raise the anchor, I just slide me everywhere because it's all wet. Comes the sun. So once again, we find ourselves in a little bit of a sticky situation. Um, we're really, really super low on fuel and I'm not really one for big drama, but uh, we're low enough that it's become a concern. So that's why we're actually heading to Chubb so we can get some fuel. Now we have light and variable winds and uh, we were gonna have the sails of course help us get across faster without using so much diesel. But the problem is, is light and variable winds. So Dave is actually putting up our spinnaker that uh, Martha was so nice to help us out uh, fixing it. She sewed it all up. Yeah, we got thousands of feet underneath us right now because we're now out of the shallows and on to the tongue of the ocean. And Dave is organizing to put up the spinnaker so we can hopefully sail at some point. 
with these light and variable winds. So what are we doing now, Captain Dave? Now we're docking at Chubke Marina to pick up the splash and go up fuel so we can keep on going. We'll dock her right there. So you need to get your lines. Okay, I'll get my lines going. So how'd you feel about fueling up here? That wasn't bad at all. I expected it to be a lot worse. It's a tiny little dock and it's a really skinny, squirrely entrance. But if you keep everything clear on the radio, it's not too bad. Excellent. So now we're leaving. We got our fuel. Got our and splash, now we're going. We got our splash and now we're leaving. There's another anchorage that we could have dropped and went in uh, jerry can by jerry can that we decided to go in and get fuel instead. So feeling pretty good. Feeling pretty good. So we're anchored in Clifton Bay. Uh, we're gonna take a day here because the wind's gonna be on our nose all day. And then uh, we're gonna head the rest of the way to the Exumas tomorrow. Hopefully we'll have the wind in our sails instead of in our faces. Happy to be anchored. Very much so. So what are we doing today, Captain Dave? Chores mostly and taking a, lot a of day relaxing. off. A lot of relaxing. Having showers. Although I made bread and I took a shower. So I'm pretty, I, that's pretty much all I wanted to do today. This is pretty much all you're gonna do today, yes. So we we're back into the crystal clear waters. That's about 14 feet deep. We can see the bottom clearly. You can see all the little fishies swimming around us. Hey fishies, I'm sure you can hear the wind. I got some more slime to clean off of the sugar scoops. Now that we're stopped, I can work on that too. I got this one mostly done. Mostly? Mostly. There's a couple of boats in here with us. It was very packed last night, but I imagine a bunch of boats took off to the berries and Bimini and all that. We're gonna go that away toward the Exumas. We just weren't doing it today because the winds were so high, right on the nose. We just weren't gonna take it on the nose and try to pound through another day of uncomfortable traveling. It just wasn't worth it. But tomorrow the winds are supposed to turn around and hopefully get wind in our sails. Yeah. That's the hope yeah. that we're leaving tomorrow morning. Much rather sail than motor. So, what are we doing this morning, Captain Dave? You're leaving New Providence Island. Bye! And what kind of weather are we heading into? It should be pretty good for sailing. We're talking like uh, 12 to 15 knots of wind. Uh, we're gonna have it on the beam on this trip, so uh, I'm looking forward to sailing the whole way to Alley D. And how did you prepare? Uh, we opened up the sail bag and got it all set, so all we gotta do is go into the wind and raise it, and then away we go. Instead of you having to go up top instead and do it underway when it's like this. Yeah, instead of having to get up on top of the bimini and chop and pull the zipper back and all that kind of stuff. While I'm down here having a heart attack. Yeah, got it. Yeah, that. So that was our anchorage over in here. This little area here. And there's the sunrise in here. Beautiful sunrise. And then there's a whole bunch of big yachts out here. Okay. And I know that we're going around this corner and then heading that way. And hopefully the wind hits us on the side so that we can sail. How goes the battle, Captain Dave? A little rough and choppy, but we're sailing. We are sailing, engines are off. Five, five and a half knots. And uh, straight shot now for about another eight hours. Balance key. And I go around front, but it's a bit choppy, but you can see that both the sails are up. And we're doing really well. A little bit choppy, waves are a little bit rolly. Yeah. We're still, we're still sailing. Staggering and sailing. Yeah. It's a little choppy out here. The waves are coming at the side to us. <laughs> but we're completely sailing. There's no motors. 
still, and we're doing about five 